dude, have you seen this? Nice. The Stellan Kearns Khan series of music players always sets the bar high when it comes to portable power output. Just released, the new Khan Ultra music player is the successor to the Khan Max, providing some great upgrades both sonically and the amount of power that this thing can crank out. Real quick, let's hear Drew's take on the Khan Ultra. The Khan Ultra is the most powerful Astell & Kern music player to date. It'll drive just about every headphone on the market, including the Dan Clark Aeon Noir, Stealth, and the Expanse. The true discrete separate pathways for the line out makes it an ideal source for two-channel home systems or portable amps like the C9 here, which has the ability to completely turn off the preamp stage. So if you like the signature of the Khan Ultra, it would be a more affordable option than the Cayenne Daps in terms of being a dedicated preamp source for an end game amplifier like the C9. Okay, now back to the review. You'll get a lot of that lovely Estelle and Kern detail with the Ultra DAP. The thing that sets it apart is the low end extension and solid bass response, thanks a lot in part to the great power output. This really translates well with planar magnetics in my listening sessions, where subtleties like the reverberation of the kick drum trail off can be hurt. Mids are wonderfully clear and there's a lot of transparency in the highs. Chalk a lot of that performance to the new DAC chip we'll talk about in just a second though. For my testing setup, I paired the Con Ultra with both the Dan Clark Stealth and Expanse with a Silver Dragon premium cable. Both headphones are pretty hard to drive for most portable setups, and needless to say, the Ultra handled both with ease. There are four gain modes that we'll get into in a bit, but I had plenty of headroom for these even in the high gain stage. Note that it goes up to an Ultra gain stage above that if needed. The Con Ultra is equipped with the new ES9039M Pro DAC in a dual configuration. The new M Pro variant of the Pro chip includes a built-in stereo MQA renderer and eliminates the need for complicated DAC filter tuning. It's also future-proof with the ability to play back up to PCM768 and DSD1024. The 9039M Pro has even more advanced modulation than the existing flagship DAC to reduce power consumption, noise, and distortion for better audio performance. The other part of the sound equation is the gain level. Like the previous Khan and Agro C8 1000 music players, you'll still find four options to choose from. Only the Ultra can get you a whopping 16 VRMS in balanced mode if you need it. This is one VRMS more than any other AK player has offered. It's impressive to say the least, and the important thing to take from this is that you no longer have to worry about being able to bring your full size high end headphones and not being able to power them sufficiently when you're away from your home. The Ultra can literally do it all. The clarity and detail of the chipset stand out with a lot of different genres, but combined with the output of the Con Ultra, and you have a DAP that can go toe to toe with even some home and desktop systems out there. There's a weight to the sound that only a Con DAP can produce. Heft in the bottom end, never bloated sounding, no undefined and muddy low end, but impactful, precise, and lots of extension. I love classical and jazz with this setup personally with both the open and closed back Dan Clark headphones. There is great expressiveness and nuance throughout the performances, a rich sounding and dynamic listening experience from the quietest parts to the most bombastic, the parts that get your adrenaline going. This combo is not just good for classical and jazz though. Rock, pop, even grunge and metal sound great with this portable setup. You can vary up the headphones and cables for more sonic options too. Headphones and cables have individual sound signatures, so the options are endless based on what kind of music you like. If you want to use the Con Ultra as a music source in your home system, we recommend connecting it to a DAC via a Silver Dragon USB cable, since it does USB audio out. There are some other options too that I'll discuss in a minute. Estelle & Kern is always innovating, and that's why we love this brand. New to the Con Ultra DAP this year is a separate pre and line out to offer users more variety with different devices and outputs. 
you now have three options on a single audio player, headphone out, pre out, and line out. One of the best things about the new line out is the fact that you can make it a source device for your two channel home system or pair it with an external portable amplifier like the Cayenne C9. There are lots more options now on how to use this DAP. The size or chassis is also larger. The Conmax had a 4.1 inch 720x1280 screen. The Ultra has been upgraded to a 5.5 inch full HD screen with sharper visuals and vibrant colors. The Ultra also adopts the new Crimson UI UX found on the flagship SP3000 music player. There's also a larger battery, upgrading from a 5600 milliamp hour battery to 8400 but you'll get about an hour or two fewer on average in playback time due to the upgraded components and power. Maxing out at 11 hours is absolutely great given the upgrades, everything that's under the hood, and the overall performance. Next-gen octa-core processors, four different gain levels, seven different DAC filters, digital audio remaster or DAR tech returns with upsampling possibilities, crossfeed, rune arc, AK file drop, and BT sync, and all the other Estelle and Kern accoutrements and you have another capable and feature-rich high-end music player from Estelle and Kern. The Con Ultra is a portable music player for those who need power on the go. If you love taking your full-size audiophile grade headphones with you wherever you go, then the Con Ultra is for you. Drive those headphones to your heart's content, especially if you have some planar magnetics where an increase in power output equates to an increase in sound quality and fidelity. We get it, larger screen, more audio out options, the Con continues to be a beast. And if you're looking for the most powerful DAP on the market that you can fit in your pocket in terms of sheer power output for your headphones, then here it is. We'll include a link to the full review below with lots more information, comparisons, and sound impressions. If you like this video, feel free to give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more audiophile content just like this. If you have a question, drop a comment, and as always, thanks for watching. Ah, oh, dude, we forgot to talk about the volume knob.